Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Big Red EDC. Yeah, I decided to do a live early on a Wednesday, or well, earlier than what I normally do, SKL. I know it's kind of, here again, it's kind of early now. People are probably still working, but wanted to get in, jump in. I wanted to do this live mail call. Hey, Bunzo, what's up, dude? So, hey, Bunzo's here. That's cool. At least I'm not talking to myself. Hey, Dusty's here, too. Cool. Now I, now I really don't feel like the crazy guy just talking. Hello, Ian. From Scotland. Very cool. Well, Christine. Wow. Okay. This is cool. There's actually some people here. Yeah, I was just kind of... I ended up taking today off because we're leaving tomorrow. Hey, Birdman Duncan. What's up? Jens? Holy smokes. Yeah, I, want, I, I just decided to do a quick... Well, we'll see how quick. <laughs> we'll see how well it goes, but wanted to do a live here. I got a couple of things in the mail. I was going to do a mail call, and then we leave tomorrow for Minnesota. So I want to pack up some of my knives, and I've got it narrowed down a bit. But, hey, if you all are on the live, you can, uh, you can help me pick which ones I'm going to take. So, oh, that's cool, bud. Sweet, Bunzo. I hope that works out for you. Oh, it must be important. Yeah, well, I don't know. Important, eh, fun, hopefully. I don't know. But, you know, I try, I wanted to do one a little earlier to maybe connect with people that I don't normally get to connect with on Saturday Night Live, you know. Well, thank you, Menace. I greatly appreciate that. It's going to be a quick one. We go Thursday and come back Monday. So the family reunion's on Saturday. So, yeah, it's going to be quick. So keeping my fingers crossed, get hooked up with a... Uh, Justin, Blue Collar Survival. Thank you, Ian. Thank you very much. But hey, guys. Let's check out what's in these boxes. I haven't done a mail call in a while. I kind of did the... Oh, sweet. Dusty's grocery shopping in her SKL shirt. Right. Thank you very much, Christine. Uh, no, no Sabenza. No, I'm not taking the Sabenza with me. When I travel, I tend to take uh, less expensive knives because they have to go in the checked luggage. And if they disappear, I won't be too heartbroken. If that Sabenza disappeared, I'd be very heartbroken. So I usually travel with knives that are fairly easily replaceable, you know, if, for that specific reason. Hey, Eugene. Thanks, buddy. How you doing? So let's... Uh, let me... Let me pull the computer over here a little bit more. I know you guys can't see it, but I want to be able to make sure I can see you guys' comments as I'm opening these boxes. So let's go with this one first. This is a pass-around knife. It came from Zach. Pretty sure it's a pass-around knife. We'll have to see what's in it. What's up, 1601? How you doing? Thanks for joining yeah, I didn't know how many people I'd get on the live today, but I figured, yeah, I'll try. We'll see what's going on. Yeah, like these pass-around knives, I'm not going to I'm not gonna be able to take them with me because, man, I would hate to have something happen to them. Oh, there you go. Cool. QSP Piglet. Sweet. Take a quick look at it if I can figure out how to get it out of the box. There we go. Hey, and just remember, guys, this week's a... Uh, oh, Sue, how you doing? <laughs> Very cool. Well, 1601, that's great, man. Glad to have you. Now, I'm not going to be doing SKL this week because I'm going to be gone. Like I said, I'm going to be in Minnesota. So, Zach, of course, is going to sub for me, and he always does an excellent job. And there's rumor going around of a surprise guest, so... Oh, there's a QSP Piglet. That's a cool little knife. I'm doing great, Sue. Thank you. Up and L number nine. You know, I don't have I've had a number six and a number eight. I haven't had a number nine yet. Oh yeah. Make sure everybody gets in on Bunzo's giveaway. For sure. 
that's just it, Ian. That's kind of why I was doing this today. You know, I was just trying to connect with people that I don't normally connect with. And, you know, a lot of people always comment and watch the videos, but Saturday Night Live is a little late. So, all right, Bunzo. Take care, buddy. So, cool. The QSP Piglet. That's going to be a cool little knife to review. Yeah, so that's kind of why I did it today. I did one. Oh. Oh, that happens, Christine. I'm actually going to be doing... I know I'm kind of far away from 1500 but I'm going to be doing a 1500 giveaway announcement here real soon. And so it gives me some time. Because I usually try to do it early, and it never works out. <laughs> so... Yeah, they are, gents. You know, QSP... Nothing against QSP. I... But it seems like every knife I've had, I've really liked the knife, but it's had one flaw. And now, there's one going around the pass around right now that a flaw was pointed out, and QSP actually got back to us and did some ex and kind of explained why it is the way it is. So I was like, okay, you know, that's awesome. They kind of give us some some insight. So that was pretty cool. So now, now this box of knives comes from my good buddy Rick Hawk. Man, that guy, as of late, has been so extremely generous. It's it's amazing. I've given two... He's sent me two knives to give away on Saturday Knife Live. Jesse, how's it, brother? How you doing, man? Glad you can make it. And he also sent me two knives for me. So... And it is my understanding there's three knives in here. Two of them are for me, and one's to give it. Well, one is I have to give one of them away. Ah, lunch break, right on. Time to grind, eh, babe? Uh, I have to give one of them away. That's the stipulation. There's three knives in there, and I have to at least give one away. If I choose to give the other two away, that sounded like that was fine, but the other two are for me to do with, but I have to give one away. So... Let's see. Well, he's in Hawaii, so it's not that late. <laughs> what's it? I think three hours difference. Bruce, what's up, buddy? See you like Bruce. I never see Bruce on SKL, but I get to see him today, so that makes me very happy. Yeah, it's only 11 in the morning there. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. It's kind of like Ian over in Scotland. It's probably fairly, it's probably late at night there. Well, not late, but it's probably, what, 9, 10 o'clock at least? Is it eight hours difference? So, oh, I know. SKL is a late for a lot of people, Bruce. I, I get that. And that's kind of why I'm doing this one today is just so I can connect and say hi. And, I mean, you all are gracious and watch all my videos and comment and, you know, I just want to say hi. Oh, it's after 10? Yeah, so it's eight hours difference. Okay. From the Pacific, from Pacific time. Oh, where are you at? 1601, where are you at? Oh, man, we got a Steel Wheel. We got a Senrenmu. Oh, and we got a Best Tech. In France. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you for joining. That's very cool. So, oh, we got a Best Tech Swordfish. We've seen this on the channel before. Ooh, but this is an orange one. Watch out. Ooh, nice. Now, I was really, I really like this Swordfish. I mean, it's a bigger knife. I mean, whoa. Just real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost nine inches. That's a huge knife, but it's a nice knife. I have reviewed the swordfish. It was a pass around. It was a Valtac knife. Valtac was gracious enough to loan us a swordfish for our little pass around group. So, oh, sweet man. Okay. So he said I had to give one of them away. So there's that one. There's a the swordfish. I have to at least give one of them away. 
this is a Sanrenmu K923. Whoa. Holy Moses. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to give that away. Look. I hope it comes through. Look, it's red. Oh. Hey, Reaper. What's up, brother? Oh, my goodness. Nine CR fourteen. Oh, oh my goodness, that is a sweet knife. Yeah, what's everybody carrying? You can put it in the comments down there. Good idea, menace. Oh, yeah, Rick, I might have to keep this one. Holy smokes. It's a beast. I wonder if this is the heavy one. He said there was a heavy one. Because it's pretty... It's got some weight. Well, thank you very much, 1601. Should I call you something other than 1601? Or is 1601 okay? Oh, man. Oh, Bruce has got a bug out and an Evo grip. Nice. HRC gates. Yeah, there's a lot of that going around. Oh, my goodness. All right, last one. We got a steel wheel. Oh, man, it's a piercer. Oh, man, and I got to give one of these away. These are all so cool. But I have to. I have to. Them's the rules. I got to give one away. Oh, man. I have not had a piercer on the channel yet, so this will be, this is great. Well, I haven't had one of the, that San Renmu on the channel. I will definitely, whoa. Ah, Reaper's got a Tenacious, right on. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, give me to blind you. And this camera kind of sucks for focusing at times. Sorry, guys. I know I got a lot of crap on my table, but I would be nothing. I wouldn't be anywhere without the without the community. So that's not going away. What's up, Jersey Knife Guy? Oh, that Rams foot. Yeah, that looks like a sweet knife, brother. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh and I gotta give one of them away. Yes, it will do some, yeah, all of them will do some damage. Holy crap. I mean, this one's got the reach. This one's got the power. And this one's just got the all sorts of stabbiness to it. I mean, so does the, so does the swordfish. Oh, man, that's going to be a hard choice. I have to give one of them away. Well, man, well, we'll find out when I get back. We'll find out which one I'm going to give away when I get back. Oh, and what am I carrying? Yes, I had my Sabenza in my pocket. I got my basketball shorts on right now, so I don't have anything in my pocket, but I got a table full of knives, so if I really need a knife, I think I have one handy. The middle? Yeah, that one's... That San Ranmu is... That thing's sweet. That thing is a beast. Uh, just for a few days. Ian, you like the swordfish? Very cool. Yeah, the swordfish is a, was a really nice knife. Really good knife. Like I said, it's long. You get your money's worth on that one. I think they sell for in that 70 to 80 range, I believe, if I remember correctly. Don't quote me. Ah, Menace has got a 530. Very good. Yeah, I, I got a table full of knives, so if I don't have one in my pocket, I might be able to find one. We'll just put it that way. So I'm going to get these out of the way real quick, guys. And then I'm going to show you what I kind of got picked out for what I'm going to take. Yeah, Ian, I, I, I'm definitely going to have to keep that San Renmu, I think. That just, I mean, 
I don't know about you guys, but to me that just screams big red, doesn't it? That knife screams big red to me. So I will probably definitely have to keep the San Renmu. All right. I'm getting them out of the way. I'm getting them out of the way, guys. So I hope you all are having a fantastic hump day. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I, yeah, I'm with you, Jesse. I'm going to have to keep that one. All right. Well, all right. I got my X-Attack knife roll here. It's kind of all messed up because I, I got my X-Attack knife roll. Now this I'm going to take with me for sure. I'm going to take my Pioneer X. Because, I mean, sacks are always good to have. So that's going no matter what. But I've got it paired down to the Bird Raven, the Honey Badger, the Civivi Courser, the FH-51, and the Stedman Voking. That's what I've got to... Uh, we'll get that out of here for now. So Those are the five that I'm choosing from. Oh, yeah, that Alox Pioneer is sweet. I love it. Yeah, it goes. You're glad to relieve me of the piercer? <laughs> it is actually, it's downstairs at the moment. I don't have it up here. So, shame on me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. And this is a customized one. I would hate to lose this one as well, but it was customized. You see, it's got the black wash. But yes, indeed, it has the scissors. And Victorinox scissors are some of the absolutely best scissors on a knife multi-tool. No, I am not taking the Sabenza with me. And I, I said that before you came in. Um, the reason I'm not is, I mean, I put my stuff in my knife roll and I put it in my checked luggage because obviously I can't carry it on. Now, if that were to go missing, I I do not want my Sabenza to come missing. So that's why when I, these are pretty much budget knives and that's why I take budget knives with me. So if they... If I lose them or if they disappear, um, not saying they will, but it happens. Trust me, it happens. So, you know, I, I, that's one I don't want to. I would be very, very, very sad <laughs> if the Sabenza went missing. So, so here's the thing, guys. I'm going to take the sack, and I got five here. I'm going to take three of them. I'm going to take three. What three do you guys think I should take? You got the bird, the honey badger, the courser, the FH-51, and the Voking, the Stedman Voking. What do you think? Whatever you guys think, that's what I'll take. I don't, I don't put a lanyard on it just because of the fact I have it in the slip. This is its dedicated slip. And the slip kind of has a lanyard on it, so. So I got the bird. Hey, Robert, how you doing? Sorry if I missed you coming in earlier. All right, so I got a few votes for the bird. Honey badger, bird, and courser. Okay. Well, it looks like the bird's going. Because that's getting a lot of votes. So we're just going to put that right over here. The bird's going. So between those four, I need two more. Honey Badger and Courser. There's the Civivi. The official one. This one? Is that the one you're talking about? 1601?
I hear bagger, Robert. I'm not sure what you mean by bagger. I apologize, but I'm not. Badger. Ah, badger. Got it. Sorry. Okay. Now I know. Never mind. I just had to. I just had to let it sit and stew for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I got to take the Pioneer X. It's going. Courser. Oh. No, I think the Honey Badger's got it beat as far as blade size. Take them all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only going to take three. I'm only going to take three. Well, yeah, Menace. All right. Well, you know, I think that's kind of... Yeah, I, I'm 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 seeing a pattern here, guys. I'm seeing a real pattern, and it looks like those are the winners. So, by a vote, yes or no? You think those are the winners? We'll leave those two here. For, we'll leave the the Ganzo and the Stedman Voking here, home for now. Bruce has got a yep. Okay, Jersey guys in. Robert, right on. Well, I think I know which three knives I'm taking with me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. Okie doke. The people have spoken. These are the knives I'm taking with me. I'm taking a bird. I'm taking a honey badger. I'm taking a courser. And the Pioneer X. Sweet. Oh, got to get it down there. All right, put that over there. Oh, come on. Squeeze in there. Sweet. There we go. That's what I'm taking. Hey, what's up, Randy? How you doing? <laughs> I think I'm pretty stuffed the way it is, Jesse. <laughs> It'll hold five, but that thing's pretty stuffed at the moment. So I, I think I'll just... <laughs> uh, we're flying. We're flying. We're flying from here to Minneapolis, and then while well, we're getting a rental car, her folks, we're going back for my wife's family reunion, see her family, and her parents live, oh, what is it? I think it's hour and a half-ish from the Twin Cities, so we'll fly there, and then we'll grab a car, and hey, Ross, how you doing? Oh, let's put, I shouldn't have put these away. Because there's more people coming in now, and I want to, I want them to see all the awesome knives that Rick sent. So, there's the swordfish. Fixing to go to work? Yeah, I would be too. Well, I'd be at work right now if I didn't take the day off to kind of get ready for this trip. There's the San Renmu, and yeah, that Exotac is really nice. Oh, uh, the Mora Companion's a nice knife. Very nice knife. So those are the three knives that Rick Hawk sent. So you can take a look at those. Zombie carry. <laughs> so, yeah. So I have to give one of them away. So that's a good thing. Ian's all about the swordfish. All right. Well, that might have to be one I give away. Now, for you guys like Ross and Randy that just came in, you're getting home from work, right on? Rick Hawk sent me, and the only stipulation was I had to give one of them away. I have to give one of them away. And for those of you that have already heard this, I'm sorry. I'm just telling everybody that's new. Hey, thanks, Menace. Thanks for joining, buddy. Great seeing you, my friend. Always good talking to you. So, I have to give one of them away. 
So I think I've already decided that I will not be giving this one away. This San Renmu. Because this thing is just a gorgeous beast. And it's red. And I'm sure that's why Rick sent it to me. I don't know. He said he was talking about giving away the heavy one. And that is definitely the heavy one. But I, I, I don't think I can give that one away. So I have to give one of them away. Ian wants the piercer. Or what wants the swordfish really bad. Bruce wants the piercer. Hey, <laughs> you won't be disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, I would not be disappointed either. <clears throat> the orange one. That's the swordfish. So that might be one that gets given away. We'll see. I, I have reviewed the swordfish. I have not reviewed these two, so I probably will review them first. Ah. The red one's mine. You got a piercer, or you got a swordfish, so the piercer is just obviously yours. I get that, Bruce. That is completely and absolutely a logical line of thinking. It's red. It's out of the giveaway. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It, yeah, it is. Yeah, that orange and black. Yeah, that's a cool. And I mean, it is. The swordfish is just a really good knife. Really good knife. Larry, how you doing, buddy? Carrying the Benchmade Nakamura right on. Well, thank you very much, sir. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think the San Renmu is going to have to stay home with Big Red. It'll be known as the Big Red San Renmu. Thank you, brother. I greatly appreciate it, Reaper. Thank you very much. The bottom, that's a steel wheel piercer. G10, D2 steel. Have not reviewed it. I will definitely review it. Right on, Jesse. Have a good day at work, my friend. Nah, San Ren moves all right. Well, shoot. I did my mail call. I got my knives packed for my trip. I would have to agree with that statement. Ganzo makes some very good knives. Very good knives. Like I always say, Ganzo and Kubi right now have that I swear they have that $20 to $40 budget knife range pretty much locked up between the two of them. And there's some others that are trying, and that's cool. But as of right now, Ganzo and Kubi, they pretty much got that locked down. In my opinion. That's just my opinion. So, you know. But, well, guys, like I said... Uh, this Saturday Knife Live will be hosted by Zach over on Zach Stuff right here on YouTube. I sent him some... Well, here's a preview. I'll just show you. I sent him a picture. And... Because I'm going to direct mail it. But these will be the items that will be given away on this week's Saturday Knife Live. A, a leather key fob from Holiday Leatherworks plus a Hol Holiday Leatherworks sticker. And the RG2... Big red, big red edition single slip. Hey, what's up, Metal Complex? What's happening? All right on, gents. Have a good one, my friend. So, yep, yeah, those are what... And I'm also going to throw in... Hey, glad you did, brother. Glad to see you. I'm also going to be throwing in a... Probably a Rough Rider knife. But these are definitely going in the giveaway. So make sure you tune in to Saturday Night Live. Rand, it's at 10 p.m. Pacific, Randy. On Saturday night. I know that's late for a lot of people. I understand that. But that's just the time that works, you know, for me to be able to do it. So, hey, Ricky, what's up, buddy? So, yeah, it's 
And if y'all don't know Metal, Metal Complex, he's the Shiznais. Go over and check out his channel. Awesome, awesome channel. Does some wicked cool knives. Yeah, you sh you showed that in the uh, on all the like all the Facebook groups, didn't you, Bruce? That thing looks nice. Somebody, was that you that showed that? I need somebody. You need a nap. You know what? I have people that do that, Randy. I have people that take, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it looks, it looks very nice. I have people that take naps and set alarms and get up for it, which that's, that's just so cool. It's so awesome. And then I have guys like Patty and... Our good buddy BH from Norway, they get up early in the morning because it's early in the morning over there to watch it. So that's just so cool. Very cool. Like I said, when I started this stuff, I never ever thought it would go like this. So, yeah, I hear you, Bruce. <laughs> I don't blame you one bit. I do not blame you one bit. So, well, guys, I think I got everything I wanted to get accomplished in this live stream. Got some, got to talk to some people I don't need, I don't normally get to talk to. Yeah, Nero knives is pretty good. Well, I think we all use our knives before we review them. Otherwise. There wouldn't really be a point to reviewing them, honestly. But, anyhow. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to cut it off here, guys. I greatly appreciate y'all joining me, helping me pick out what knives I'm going to take on my trip. So, got them all packed up there, ready to go. I'll leave here and go throw them in the suitcase. So very, I uh, thank you very much, Ian. I greatly appreciate it. You know what? I hope you all have a terrific rest of your week. I will be. I do have videos waiting, so I will be still releasing content while I'm gone. I got a few videos shot, and they're in the can, so there'll, there'll still be content coming out. I just won't be talking to you live on Saturday night. So thank you all very much. Love, love talking to you guys. So, well, I would agree, 1601. I would definitely agree. So, appreciate y'all stopping by. As always, guys, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. You know I love talking to y'all. Till next time, guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, George. Thanks for stopping by, my friend. Bye, guys.